Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you around the brand new Drive for Desktop application. This is a pre-release version, so it doesn't have all the features yet, but I think it's worth us taking a look at because it finally delivers on something that I've been making purchase after purchase, buying applications that will do exactly what this does for free. So I've used things like AirDrive or Expand Drive trying to mount a drive a Google Drive account as a local drive on my machine, just like OneDrive does or some of the other ones do. So we're going to use this uh, Fandroid article to get access to the file itself because it's not publicly available, but you can download it. And it's a pretty small download. It's pretty easy to set up. We're going to go through the whole thing so you can take a look at it. And then I'll show you some of the features. Now, one of the things that it does not have yet are folder backups along with Google Photos direct access, which is one of the big selling points that's coming for this. For now, though, I do want to show you how well it works to actually mount a drive. So when you install, uh, you can add the application shortcut to your desktop, which we'll go ahead and do. And then there's desktop shortcuts to docs, sheets, and slides. We'll go ahead and do that. I don't have it on my machine at home, but in my virtual machine here, which you can see is running Windows 11, just for a little bit of fun, Windows 11 is not required to use this Google Drive uh, for desktop. I'm just using it because it happened to be a VM that I had handy. So installation is pretty easy. It does not require a reboot, at least not on the two or three machines that I've put it on. And what this tool is going to do for us is allow you to mount a drive letter that's pointing directly at your Google Drive. Okay, so it is successful. They want you to go ahead and sign in. It'll open up a browser, and then um, I'll use my old Review Lagoon account. And if you have two-factor authentication or anything like that, it's going to um, send you through that path. In this case, I don't for this older account. Uh, make sure that you downloaded this from Google. You know, you're giving away uh, the keys to the kingdom here. All right, so we've signed in. That's it. So we can go ahead and get rid of the browser at this point. All right, and here we are. Stream Google Drive files right to your computer. Save disk space by only downloading the files that you need. Mark items available offline to edit without a connection. Any changes will automatically sync when you're back online. Blah, blah, blah. There's a handful of things here. All right, so it offers to open your Google Drive folder for you. You'll also notice that it put a shortcut to it on your desktop. I'm going to go ahead and just close that window. I'm going to close that window. If you take a look at your SysTray, we now have a new... Oh, there's a directory opus to help out. Uh, if you look down in your SysTray, you now have a Google Drive application running there's activity and notifications there are no notifications to be seen right now uh, and your files are up to date so we'll show you a little bit more about that you can also quick launch your folder from here and there's a handful of preferences such as pausing your syncing and basic preferences right now uh, eventually there will be additional features over here the ability to go to your google photos go to different machines, backup folders. Right now, this is just the drive letter mounting tool. And you can see that it's got its own locally cached file system. And down here we have drive letter G has been designated. Right now you can switch to a different Google account. Um, right now you have to constantly switch back and forth. There's no quick switch, which is definitely, in my opinion, a weak uh, spot on the application as it is, as I've got numerous Google accounts. But if you're just a single Google Drive user, this will probably work just fine for you. All right, so there's nothing else really to see other than to see it in operation. And you can see, indeed, it did make shortcuts. And if you were to open one of these shortcuts, right, it goes up and it opens up Drive for you. Yes, thank you. All right, so n nothing special there. I mean, I don't even put it on my main desktop, these, these shortcuts. I just go into the browser and do it. But it does what it does. So if we go ahead and open Google Drive, in my case, it's opening Directory Opus. You can see my other videos on Directory Opus. Um, it's just a better file manager, including the Windows 11 one. So if you now look at your PC, you have your local hard drive as well as a 
Google Drive, which actually shows you all the information, right? It's a 15 gigabyte storage. I have a Google One account for my, my main Google account. But in this case, I'm limited to 15 gigs. Here's how much free space I have. And if I click in here, there's a couple of hidden folders here, as well as my drive. All right. So now if you look in here, uh, this is exactly what's in my Google Drive. And you can see a little icon that shows its current sync status. We're going to jump in here just for fun. And if we go to my drive... Yes, good Lord. Ugh, close everything. All right, so if we go in here, you'll see that I've got a couple of pictures in here, a couple of videos, and a, a couple of executables, uh, zip folder, all that stuff. It's in here, so you can see it for yourself. And if you look here, it's the exact same stuff. And if I were to double-click Beat Saber, well, look at that. It pops right up. So it's just like I'm actually here. Right, so if I were to double click this PDF, now you notice this is a little bit bigger, so it's not automatically open. There was a delay, right? So it brought a copy of that file local before it opened it as a jacuzzi manual. And so if you were to open, say, a 99 megabyte trailer, this is a trailer for uh, another 48 hours, it actually is streaming it at this point because it can. You can't stream a PDF, right? But you can stream an MP4. So it does try to intelligently uh, interpret what it is that you have. If I wanted to install fhash, or run fhash in this case, um, everything that you would hope would be available to you is here. So it, this is a good point. It's time to take a peek here. So you can open with Google Drive, copy a link to the clipboard. So what does that actually do? Share with Google Drive, add a shortcut to Drive, manage the versions, and do offline access. So if, for example, I was going to uh, disconnect from the internet. I was going to be offline. I could actually bring a copy, a couple of these things down, right, and mark them as available offline. So now these files are going to be available whether I'm connected to the internet or not connected to the internet. And I'll have local access to these. So... That's, a, that's sort of it in a nutshell, really. I mean, that's what this is designed to do. And this is exactly what I've been wanting. I want a direct file system level access. If I were to go over here to my desktop, I have a, a two gigabyte, almost a three gigabyte file. So if I were to copy this over to my drive, what happens? Wow, that's just copying it right over really fast. That's fantastic. <clears throat> what this is actually doing is it's caching a local copy of it inside of Google Drive's file system. And then if you actually look at uh, if you actually look at your activity, you're seeing that it's queued for upload. Right? So despite the fact that it says that it's here, and it kind of is. It's in its own local file system. You can see the little icon next to it shows that it's currently uploading. It's not really there just yet. And you can see that, yes, it's going to be taking its sweet time getting that file up there. But in the meantime, it looks like it's there. It's cached locally so we can use it. And you can see all the other things here, too, that it was doing in the background. And, of course, you could cancel that. All right. So... It's not perfect. I mean, obviously, if you're going to upload a large file, just like if you were to upload it to Drive, then it's going to take some time. But it looks like it's there. It looks like it's really fast. So here we have a, a Google Sheet and a Google Test Document. If we were to open one of those, what do we get? Well, it opens up Docs and it pops open the, the file for you. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, got it. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and then you can share and collaborate just like you normally would. What if I were to right-click on this, add shortcut to Drive, share with Google Drive? So let's say I want to share that document. It's going to open up a dialog box, and you're going to get a very familiar sharing uh, dialog that allows you to change who you're going to share with, get a link. You know, we'll copy a link. This works exactly the same as if you were in Drive, which is really cool. And, of course, um, uh, copy a link to the clipboard. All right. So it's reminding you, there's no sharing going on. So we gave you a link, but unless it's you or somebody you've designated, 
uh, you're not going to have access to it. So let's just go to the browser here. If I were to paste that shortcut in, of course, I am the author so I can get to it. But if I were to go to a, a new private window, for example, and paste that in, obviously, um, I, I don't have access to it. I mean, that link doesn't work unless you directly share the link and say, yeah, I'm going to share this. And um, I'm going to go ahead and, and change it to anyone with a link. Great. So now if I open the browser up again and I go to an incognito or private mode and then I paste this link. Yeah, sure. I've got access to it, even though I'm not even signed in, which is exactly what I was hoping for right there. So you can see this works very, very well. It's simple. It does stay resident. So you'll, you will have this running in the background all the time. Uh, but it seems to be so far pretty stable. Again, this is a pre-release version. So all of the features aren't quite here yet. But I thought it'd be worthwhile to take a few minutes and show you around. I'm very excited. I've paid hundreds of dollars in applications trying to get this functionality for my Google Drive account. So this is Drive for Desktop. And it's, again, it's in its pre-release state. You can get it from the link that I'll provide down in the uh, video description down below. And in the meantime, you can get access to your drive right through a mounted drive letter, which is fantastic. And any tools that you're using, like the great directory Opus, any other file manager, applications themselves, they all see this drive as if it were the real thing. So it's really, really cool. I hope you enjoyed this quick look. As always, please like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos coming your way. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.